stories of the world focus on Northern Kentucky. The Bible versus the scientists takes center stage. Do you believe in evolution or creationism? And tonight, that debate pitted Bill Nye, the science guy, against the man who founded the Creation Museum. And our Anjanette Levy had a front row seat. She's live at the museum in Petersburg with what went down, Anjanette. Well, Cammie, it was very interesting. The debate between science and religion, of course, has raged for centuries. And tonight, the founder of the Creation Museum got a chance to defend his views in front of a very large and very interested audience. For one night, the worlds of science and religion collided. Tonight, Bill Nye, the science guy, and Creation Museum founder Ken Ham faced off to answer the question. Is creation a viable model of origins in today's modern scientific era? Ham says yes. And we mean the account based on the Bible. Yes, I take Genesis as literal history, as Jesus did. Ham told the audience fossils were formed during the flood that led Noah to build an ark. If there was a global flood, you'd expect to find billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. Nye says those fossils were formed over billions of years, and the best shipbuilders in the world couldn't build a wooden ship to hold that many animals and people. He doesn't believe a great flood covered the entire earth. Get a sapling and put it underwater for a year. It will not survive. Nye says there are trees that are more than 9,000 years old. Impossible if the earth is only 4,000 years old, as Ham claims. How could these trees be there? if there was an enormous flood just 4,000 years ago. The crowd was enthralled as the men argued creation versus evolution. While neither changed the other's mind, they disagreed with civility. They are imposing, I believe, the religion of naturalism or atheism on generations of students. So if you're asking me, and I got the impression you were, is Ken Ham's creation model viable? I, I say no, absolutely not. Now, there were 70 national, local, and international media outlets here covering this debate tonight. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much interest there was in this topic. And it's estimated that one million people, more than a million people, actually watched online. Reporting live from the Creation Museum in Petersburg, Kentucky, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Anjanette, thank you. And it's interesting to note that Ken Ham is a former science teacher. He says creationists are a small minority in the scientific community, but he calls their credentials impressive.